I'm Mark Densley, Director of Business Development for Factory Automation at Emerson's Automation Solutions. And today I'd like to show you the benefits of using the AF2 Smart Flow Sensor within your production facility. Like many of our customers, we use pneumatics in the manufacturing of our products in many applications, such as when machining subcomponents, in the assembly of our products, and in the final testing of our solutions. Just like you, we consider many of these applications critical to manufacturing a quality product for our customers. In a facility such as this, up to 30% of the compressed air being generated can be wasted from leakage within a pneumatic application. You can make improvements to this by monitoring compressed air consumption, optimizing compressed air usage, and detecting leakages, enabling you to lower your energy costs, reduce your overall CO2 footprint, and improve the energy efficiency and sustainability of your facility. Air leakage can be caused by a number of things, such as a simple fitting coming loose on a piece of moving equipment can also be caused by component wear and leakage of these components which need to be serviced or replaced in the near future. Today I'm going to show you by using the AF2 Smart Flow Sensor how we can gain valuable insight into your equipment's air usage. Not only to identify when a piece of equipment is wasting compressed air energy, but also to prevent possible downtime and loss of revenue for your business. The AF2 Smart Flow Sensor is a compact device mounted in line to your equipment as a separate device or mounted as part of your air preparation. The device uses a calimetric sensing cell to provide accurate measurement of airflow and pressure, providing data on airflow, air velocity, the volume of air and the energy that's being used. The rich data the AF2 provides can also be used as a standalone or as part of a broader IIoT solution, such as the ones offered by Emerson. As the equipment is being used, the AF2 locally displays current live readings on its bright OLED display. Using the keypad on the front of the product, we can scroll through the various measurements the device captures and change many of the settings to tailor it for your application. The AF2 is easy to connect with an industrial or power over ethernet PoE M12 interface. The industrial version offers outputs such as analog, frequency, switched and IO link capability, allowing you to capture this data in your PLC or other industrial controller. The ethernet PoE version offers several ways to gather the data from the device, supporting many of the open protocols being used in an IIoT system today. These include MQTT and OPC UA, enabling easy connections to existing OEE monitoring software or larger cloud systems. With the product supporting Ethernet, the data can be viewed on the device's internal web server. Showing the data in real time this dashboard can be viewed on any computer, tablet or monitoring system connected to the same network. The AF2 will record the statistical values of the measured and calculated data, providing the minimum, maximum and average readings of each. Further to this, a counter function provides the total amount of air volume, mass and energy which has passed the device. Both the counter and statistical data is stored within the AF2 memory until reset via the web server or data connection. A further great feature of this device is the logging of data over selectable time periods, including 60 minutes, 24 hours and 7 days, all stored within the AF2. All of these insights can be viewed within the web server or sent via the available MQTT or OPC UA data connections. In this overview, we can see how by using an OPC UA connection, we can collect the current airflow values on a periodic basis and then compare them against previously stored nominals for the equipment as it passes through the different cycles. When passing a predetermined threshold, 
a call to action can be made to the operations staff in the form of an alert, such as an email, to fix a potential pending problem. As a pneumatic component nears the end of its usable life, they may start to have an inherent leak. This can be seen by utilizing the data captured by the AF2, providing a way to predict when equipment should be serviced or overhauled, preventing costly downtime. Here is an example of an AF2 being used on this piece of manufacturing equipment. The compressed air being used for this equipment is monitored via the AF2 mounted in the air supply line. Again, we can see the air usage on the display of the AF2 as the equipment is being used. And we can also use the web server to capture information and really start to understand the nominal air usage over a machine cycle. This information is also captured in the statistical data, again helping understand our nominal air usage. We can use this information to calculate the cost of air being used by this equipment. Look what happens now when I simply loosen a small tube from one of the cylinders in this application. Immediately, within the data, I can see that the equipment is now using more air, indicated by the increase in the flow rate. If I pause the dashboard for a moment, I can use the tools within the AF2 to see my flow has increased from 10 to 12 CFM. Also, I'm seeing a pressure drop at the same time, further indicating I'm losing compressed air. This is also captured in the statistical data of the AF2. If we look at the max flow and the pressure, we can see these changing. While the equipment looks like it's operating correctly and completes its operations as normal, very quickly the data provided is giving me insight that something has changed in my pneumatic system. Further to this, I can clearly see when the leakage has occurred during the machine cycle. In this case, by further analysis, we can see the problem starts to occur at this point. With the information the AF2 has provided, I can set up alarms and warnings to create a call to action to fix a potential issue with my equipment. After I fix the issue, you can see the data react again and go back to the nominal conditions and carry on working the way it should. Small leaks such as this can add up and could be costing your facility thousands per year in lost energy. And if left unchecked, can cause unplanned downtime and the potential revenue loss to your business. Here is Warren Pruitt of Colgate Palmolive talking about the results they are obtaining by using the AF2 Smart Flow Sensor in their production equipment. Hi, I'm Warren Pruitt. I'm with Colgate Palmolive Company as the Vice President of Global Engineering Services. Emerson's technology is helping us achieve our energy goals by reducing wasted compressed air, which ultimately reduces our carbon footprint. This is an important environmental initiative for Colgate Palmolive. The AF2 Smart Flow Sensor identified wasted energy from our compressed air delivery system and its connectivity through OPC UA allowed seamless data streaming. In addition, Emerson's global organization can help us with large-scale rollouts and implementation support. The AF2 Smart Airflow Sensor is a great stepping stone into the digital transformation of your production equipment and offers scalability to broader IoT solutions. Here the data provided by the AF2 can be collated with that of a valve operating or cylinder speed to build detailed insight into your pneumatic component wear on your equipment and at the different cycles enabling you to predict and pinpoint the actual potential component wear. Here at Emerson we offer a broad range of IIoT solutions to help you achieve your digital transformation goals. Contact your local Emerson representative today for more information.